Hi, everyone, and thank you so much for joining us on the We Thrive podcast, where we share stories from entrepreneurs from around the world and how they're creating an impactful legacy. I'm your host, Casey Clark, and today I have the pleasure of interviewing Miss Sandra Hoffmeister, who is the owner of ANS Construction. So thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me, Casey. It's a pleasure. Yeah, absolutely. So I'm sure you get it all the time, but it's very rare to have a female owner of a construction company. So kudos to you, first and foremost. (laughs) I know. It's a little weird, isn't it? (laughs) I love it, though. Uh, So tell us a little bit about you. (laughs) Well, I come from Peru, the land of the Incas as the daughter of a Spanish father and a Peruvian mother, so I'm kind of like a mix. I grew up and became an accountant. After an accomplished career there, I decided to move to the US. I moved to Florida in 2006, where I work as an accounts payable manager until the company closed business, and then I moved to Frederick in 2010. In 2011, I switched careers. I get a job as an admin in one of the larger construction companies in the area. And in a few years, I became their production manager. So this is how I got all the experience that I have, the experience that I bring now. And after COVID, I decided to open my own business. And this is how I became involved in the world of being a businesswoman and ANS Construction was born. Okay, I love that. It's awesome. So when you were working for the previous construction company, is there anything that stands out to you that is like, wow, I really want to do this? Like what made you start a construction company? Uh, it's it's a very good question because I like changes, I guess. I <laughs> and I yes, and I like challenges. So my first thought was, oh, I'm just going to get this job and then I'm going to walk myself to accounting. No, it didn't happen. So I decided to be the best. I decided to learn and I motivated myself to be somebody in that company. Mm-hmm. And that's what I did. And I fell in love with the trade. I really did. That's awesome. I love that. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. So you said you committed to being the best. So to me, kind of being the best is well on your way to thriving. So what does that word thriving mean to you? Thriving is a big word. And for me, it represents the passion that I have for what I do and the positive attitude that I have towards life. I think when you do something that you like to do and well, then you thrive and you become an inspiration to others. Yes, I love that. An inspiration. So what obstacles have you come across, either personally or professionally, when you've been trying to thrive just in life in general? I could talk about obstacles for a long time. But the most important is being a woman. And it's sad because I think we are pre-designed as women just to be limited. So our parents, they are telling us, oh, you can be whatever, you can do whatever you want. But no, you are not going to be a welder or a plumber or a trace woman. That's not for you. Your life should be this way, right? Right. So, and that's my point in my world. The most important obstacle for me is being a woman in a male-dominated industry. However, that never stopped me because I'm very, I'm a very positive individual. So while it is difficult to work in an industry like roofing, because that's what I do with the roofing, it is not impossible if you have what it takes. For me, it was natural since I can lead people and I know the trade and I am tough and compassionate both at the same time. This is what you need to work in my world Mm -hmm. and personally it is very rewarding to know that i can help families to improve their homes 
and I can establish connections with them in different levels. Most, most of, my comp uh, of my customers become very dear to me and I still in touch with them after the job is done, which is awesome. That is awesome. I love that. Yes. Well, a lot of people and families and I'm a very personable person. It makes sense. So I love what I do. Yeah. You can tell the first time I met you, I knew that you loved what you did. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, you can definitely tell. Um, so, I mean, I actually, believe it or not, am in a pretty male dominated industry as well. And yours is, <laughs> yours is like much more dominated than mine. Um, but I definitely feel your pain. And I do have, you know, had to overcome lots of judgments. You know, I'll meet another male owner and they'll be like, oh, I can do this or do that, or, oh, you don't do it this way. And I'm like, whatever. <laughs> so. Oh, yeah. So when you, show up, you show up in a meeting and he asks you, so you work for who? Yeah. And like, uh, for me? <laughs> yeah, like, um, I'm sorry, I own this. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's a typical question, you know. It's, I'm so over that. I'm so used to <laughs> Yeah, I'm a like you're a, a positive thinker. I'm a very abundant thinker. So male, female, whatever. I just look at like we can all have a piece of this pie. Yeah. So yeah, that that really irritates me on a just a, a mindset level. But with that being said, what obstacles or I'm sorry, what resources have you used to overcome that obstacle? Well, I think the most important resources for me are determination and support. Being an entrepreneur is not for everybody. It takes a lot from you since you will spend most of your time alone. This is like a lonely world. Mm -hmm. You're gonna be alone for the most time or working on strategies to be more productive or successful, looking for customers, you, you name it. Support is key whether it's your family, your friends, or groups that you belong to, but you need support, otherwise you will get lost and you'll fail. Mm -hmm. I am lucky to belong to different groups. I am a member of the Frederick Chamber of Commerce and their Women in Business Committee, uh, the Frederick County Building Association and their uh, Professional Women in Business Committee the Washington County Building Association um, and uh, the Diversity and Equity Council for the City of Frederick as well and the one for the Chamber. And I consider myself lucky because some of these awesome business women are my friends. That is awesome. You're out there doing the thing. I love Woo! it. <laughs> yeah. you, you get a fight, you, you never give up. So one day it's not going to be the day that you expected, maybe that day you didn't sell anything. It's a sad day for you. The next mm -hmm. day you give up with energy and you're going to kill it. Yeah. How do you replenish your energy? So I'm hyper. I'm like the bunny and the joyster, <laughs> totally. But I don't know. I just, I just watch positive videos. I'm trying to, uh, I laugh all the time when I see movies. I don't like the sad movies or war movies. They're too, too painful for me. Yeah. I like to watch something funny or something that makes me think. Um, I don't know. When I see people, they make me happy. I see the kids and the pets. I don't know. And I am I'm a big believer of energy. So I really like to be surrounded by people with the same energy that I have. I don't know mm -hmm. if it makes sense, but yeah. I think that's how I recharge myself. Yeah. Awesome. I love it. All right. So now the big question. Because <laughs> you are definitely doing things different in your industry. And I love how you're a part of so many different committees and groups. And yeah. by the way, I'm going to give you a shameless plug. We are having a, uh, it's called Holistic Women Uncorked at the end of August. And that oh. is a women's event that is going to be a ton of fun. So I think you would enjoy it. Oh, um, okay. Yeah. Perfect. 
Yeah, um, so we'll chat about that later. <laughs> but for now, let's get back to you and legacy. So you talked about, you know, the support that you have. How are those connections that you're making and the experiences that you're having helping you in creating a legacy? Well, there is a lot of things combined together. Legacy is, is a big thing, you know. Legacy is what you leave in this world after you departed to your next adventure. I call it adventure because we don't know what happened next. I'm not going to get into religion, but um, I don't think that we stop, we end right here. Mm -hmm. Legacy are your accomplishments and the impact that you had in other people or places. I think that I am going to leave my blueprint somehow when I leave this world. I think if I'm meeting a lot of people, if I impact or change one person's life, I did what I was supposed to do in this world. I love it. I love it. Is there one person that has impacted you that just kind of pops up in your mind? I, you know, coming from another country is for a different background. Kind of like stay in your mind when you move to the U.S. because it's a total different, complete world. I must say that my father was probably the person who impacted my life the most. Mm -hmm. He was a diplomat. We used to travel when we were little until he decided to settle in Peru with my mom. And um, he was very tough. He became a civil engineer, so he was building houses and buildings. And who will know that I was gonna do this now? <laughs> Not a builder, but you know, related. Yeah. So I think he will be really, really proud if he, um, I know he's in heaven or whatever he is, he will be very proud. He's. I think he's looking off after me. That's awesome. I love that. So if you could give anyone any advice, what would that be for, let's say, a, a woman starting a business? It might sound like a cliche, but somebody told me a long time ago when I was in college, never give up. Mm -hmm. If you are determined to do something in your life or to be somewhere, just do it. Just do your best and do it. Surround of positivity. Make a circle of great and intelligent friends. Educate yourself. Education is very important in whatever you're looking to do. Mm -hmm. But most importantly, be the best. Yes. Be the expert. Be the person that everybody will come and ask questions. That that will be my advice for that. Uh, little girl who doesn't know what she's going to do. I love it. So I have an off the cuff question <laughs> because uh -oh. I'm a foodie. So <laughs> what is a Peruvian dish that I must try? Cause I love some Peruvian food. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Now we're talking. So, <laughs> well, off air. Okay. So I'll take you to a Peruvian restaurant. Okay. Okay. Perfect. We have different dishes. Uh, the most popular here is the Peruvian chicken, but that's kind of like a street food. But the landmark dish is called ceviche, mm -hmm. which is kind of like the Peruvian sushi version. Mm -hmm. It's fish or seafood cooked into lemon. Mm -hmm. It's delicious. It has onions and sweet potatoes and Peruvian corn, which is this big. Huh. Ah, uh, yeah, it's really, really good. I apparently have never had like truly authentic Peruvian ceviche because it didn't have sweet potatoes or corn in it. <laughs> so. Probably. I know that that corn, um, it has to be brought from there because the um, it's, it's big. It's, it's, it's a big corn. Yeah, it yeah. tastes different. I love it. Yeah. Oh, wow. Awesome. Well, thank you for that. <laughs> so, You're welcome. Learn something new every day. <laughs> I know, right? I'm so happy to share. I'm happy to, you know, I'm glad that you learned something today. <laughs> because Definitely. I believe that we learn something every day. 
Oh yeah. And constantly learning. Yeah. And from a lot of times from people that we don't even expect to learn anything from. So oh yeah. And that's the most awesome thing. Yeah. Absolutely. So is there anything that you haven't shared with us today that you'd like to share with our listeners? I'm just very grateful to be here. And um, if you want to uh, talk to me or if you need somebody to be honest and go and check on your roof, if you need a repair or re um, install, my number is 301-703-2157. And I'm here to help you. Awesome. And where can they find you on the web and with social media? Uh, my website is A as in Apple and as in Nancy, S as in Sam, the word construction, that net. Okay. We are in Facebook as ANS Construction and Instagram as ANS Construction as well. All right. Perfect. Well, I definitely appreciate your time today. I'm excited for Peruvian food and to hey. see all the things that you'll continue to do in the community. And again, I appreciate your time. Thank you so much, Casey. Uh, it was a pleasure. It was fun. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I'd also like to thank our music sponsor, Stephen Lamar Moore, who created the music for our podcast. So thank you everyone for joining us. And thank you again, Sandra. Thank you. Bye.